Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 3, Absence of Detention. I gotta lower my volume a bit. There we go. Okay. Uh, I am recording from the future future, even compared to my, uh, my other videos of Chapter 6 through 8, because my recording of 7.5 and 7.6 got corrupted. That is what we will be resolving today. After I, uh, get rid of some of these items here that we won't be needing. This is the status of my units. As you can see, Almaz is still alive and well. Why am I saying this? Uh, no particular reason. We're going to start with, uh... I didn't even look at the thing, actually. <laughs> Anyway, for this strat for this map, you will notice that the uh, geo cubes are stacked up in a pretty crazy way. We have on the bottom we have weak foe minus fifty percent, then enemy turbo times three, ally damage twenty percent, mana plus fifty percent, and exp plus fifty percent. Obviously, if you can take care of these uh, super boosted dudes. Kudos to you. You get some extra experience in mana. That is what I will be doing. But if for whatever reason you find yourself unable to do this, then I would recommend throwing some guys onto these four wings here and uh, just dealing with them that way. I have the power of Vasa Airgun. I also have the power of two incredibly overpowered uh, fist users. So I can just kind of take care of these guys, no problem. And I hope this is not getting corrupted again, because that would be like the worst thing. Anyway, Death's Path. Let's go. I'm going to shut up here. I see it! The human world! The birthplace of the detestable superhero! No! <laughs> if I destroy this place, I'm sure he'll regret ever making a fool out of me! And I'm sure this will ruin the property value of his legal residence. <laughs> okay, you gotta laugh a little bit at Mal's priorities here. Mal! Tonight, there will be a rain of blood upon this land. You humans will know fear. You will all die! Mal? He's acting strange. Something's wrong. What's gotten into you, Mal? He's gone berserk! We can't let Mao run any further into the darkness! It'll taste terrible! No! My lady! She's doing the Avatar thing. Katara trying to get Aang out of the Avatar state. Gotta love Beryl. She's got guts. Yeah, that's right, but 
attacking an innocent and defenseless world isn't something an honor student should do. That's for scum. Oh, man. Your only enemy is the superhero. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But you can't just take anyone's eye. No, I am not wrong. It is the act that would hurt the superhero the most. No, it's not. You're just running away. Almaz, are you some kind of wise guy? Since when did my fake hero grow such a big mouth? Mal, look carefully at your own heart. Is anger and hatred all that you see? You mean that feeling that's swirling inside my stomach? Why, it's made up entirely of pure anger and hatred! So you... never did realize? Why are you crying? Because I'm sad. Sad? That's right. Aren't you sad too? <laughs> when a family member dies, you're sad. When people betray you, you're sad. When you can't trust friends, you're so sad and in so much pain. <laughs> but you just don't know what to do with all those emotions. Am I right? Don't be stupid. I don't feel that. That emotion doesn't exist in my heart. It's easy to fool yourself. Looking away from something we don't want to see is a bad habit we all have. But you aren't alone now. You have friends. If it hurts, you can be honest and tell us it hurts. If you're suffering, you're allowed to complain. No one will make fun of you. That's right. Some people like me can't even cry when they want to. But when you're sad, you should cry all you want. <laughs> That's a coward's way out. It's not weakness. Running from the strong and taking it out on the weak is an even more cowardly act. What did you say? You catch me and then call me a coward? Hey, Mal. Did you know that I used to look down on demons? When you turned me into one, I hated it so much. I thought demons were incomprehensible and untrustworthy. But that was wrong of me. By denying inexplicable urges, I tried to escape to an easier path. Yes. To assume that demons are bad is very convenient. And I was the same way at first. Is that so? Do you still hate demons? No. I've gotten to know who they are. And I've come to rather like them. If I can stay with you guys, I don't mind never being a human again. Or so I assume. <laughs> yes! The moment I first met Lady Barrow, my heart squealed immediately! Careful there, Sapphire. What if she stabs you like the teddy bear? Hey, Princess! Stop hugging me! <laughs> It's so adorable. <laughs> See? Demons, humans, it doesn't matter. That's what I finally understand after being with you all. There's no doubt about it. We're all friends. And the one who taught me that was you, Mal. I believe in you. Do you believe in me? You, a human, say that a demon is your friend. You say that you believe in me? Do you think I'll fall for that? <laughs> Too late. It's begun. Almas, what's wrong? Sorry. I was no good after all. I could become a hero. Why are you talking like that? Why in the past tense? I'm sorry, Princess, for not being able to keep my promise. What's going on with you? I don't want you talking like that. I'm sorry. It seems 
I can no longer protect you, princess. Uh, I don't get it. I don't understand what you're talking about. As I said, it's an incurable curse. He knew, but continued to endure it alone, for friendship and for love. Oh, Maz, you... Why? Why did you lie? I'm sorry. I didn't want to worry you. Fool! You're making me worry a lot right now! <laughs> you're right. Princess, please listen. To me, you're the most important. I know, so don't! But I couldn't leave Mao alone either. I wanted to stop him, no matter what it took. Thinking back on it now, I think I heard from the very beginning Mao's voiceless voice. My voice? Yep, I can hear it clearly now. It's saying, help me. <laughs> Heroes must offer a helping hand to anyone in need. I wanted to become a hero. But even more so, Mal, to be your friend. Why? For what reason would you risk your own life for a complete stranger? Because he's... a hero. No, you should know this now. Ask your heart. Friend? That is correct. Oh, too bad, Almazi. And I was so close, too. Your last words were echoing through my heart, man. But you know, once you're dead, it's all over. Just leave the rest of it to me, all right? Who the hell? Who, me? I'm Mao, man. What? No, that's a lie. You're an imposter. Huh? What makes you so sure? It's just a feeling. <laughs> a gut feeling, huh? I guess you are my rival after all. But don't get me wrong. I'm sure I'm also a real Mao, too. No! You're not me! What does that mean? <laughs> you don't get it? I'm the pure evil that's inside your heart. I came out because you wished me to do so, man. I don't know you, and I don't need you! Hmm? That's strange. You wanted power, right? That's why I came out. Like I said, I'm pure evil. For a demon like you, I'm your source of energy. Thanks to your rush of regret and hatred, you used your potential powers, and so, here I am. So come on! Switch with me already. I'm bored of sitting there in the corner of your hat. Don't you mess with me! I won't give up my body so easily! Fine by me. I'll just take it by force! Okay, here we are. The spiral leading into the world. <clears throat> you know what this place reminds me of? This, like, ethereal sort of road that leads to a whole bunch of different worlds. 
I mean, yeah, it's pretty generic as far as astral planes go, besides being made of hexagons. But what it particularly reminds me of is the ending of Pat Guy 2 Part 2, Pagoon. It is a Pac-Man parody made by Astral Entertainment for the PC way back in the 90s. It's... it sure is a video game. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to describe it other than, uh... Pac-Man with shooting. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> but that is what this reminds me of. Pac Guy has been kicked out of his world and he needs to get back. And the astral plane is at the very end of it and it goes back to his world and nope, it's been taken over by the bad guy. Thus spawns the saga of like 10 different games and the plotline never gets finished because uh, the Pac Guy kind of stopped being a thing. <laughs> Anyway, we have a whole bunch of uh, triple boosted deaths here. If you are going through this for the first time, I would recommend throwing a guy over here and taking the these out. And then throwing this to uh, neutralize the magic being used by the deaths. Dark Mao is pretty much just a Mao clone. He has violent courage, he has the same stats, or the same aptitudes at least, the same sort of general stat balance. These are his skills. Nothing especially out of the ordinary, besides knowing Slayer's Descent, which your Mal might not if you haven't been using the class world or character fusion properly. He does not know Vasa Airgun, on the other hand. But what he lacks up in that, he will make up for in being able to magic change with the Ifrit next to him. So just watch out when he does that. When he is magic changed with the Ifrit, he gains two new skill, one new skill rather, Burning Fever. It's E, but it's times 150%. Also, he gets the ability Overdrive, which I have already explained in an earlier video. Just boosts your attack power when a bunch of criticals have happened before in the battle. We are not going to give this Shadow Mal the time of day though. Big Bang. So, I guess since we are just about to finish up here, I guess I should let you all know my uh, plans for the future of this Let's Play. Uh, once I am done with this, I have two more endings to record, then the, uh, then the Superhero Mal ending, which will lead us into the post-game. From there, I am going to go through all of the side stories, then uh, all of the... Uh, side quests as far as we can get them without uh, things getting way out of hand. And then we are going to focus on uber buffing our characters, which will all be very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to re-recruit all of the uh, units I recruited. That will be off screen. And I will catch up with you guys when I'm ready to start the next side story. That is what we are doing. Okay. I'm going to shut up now, and we are going to watch the end of Chapter 7 cutscene. Let's do it. Pure evil. I was being driven around by that? Let me make this clear. You're the one who raised me. All the grudges and hatred in your heart made me grow quick. But that's not all. Someone had to purposely raise you as well. Someone who brought you up with exquisite care. <laughs> You're sharp. Pretty good. Could it be Jeffrey? Was it the superhero? <laughs> he gave me so much, and each time I got stronger. But you became even stronger. You ended up getting an even stronger power than pure evil, damn you. What power was that? Oh, come on. If you keep acting stubborn like this, I'm gonna end up coming out again. See ya. I'll always be inside your heart, waiting to take over your body. You can just thank Almazi this time.
Oh, Moz. I'm sorry. I know it's useless to apologize now, but I'm really sorry. It's my fault you died. And even now, see? I can't shed a single tear for you. It's always like this. An iron lump gets stuck in my heart. And even if I want to get it out, it just won't. <laughs> See, Almas, it's just as I said. Here I am, saddened by your death. What am I supposed to do without you now? I don't know. I just don't know. Though, the one who's most troubled must be you, having to have died for me. I'm sorry, Almas. I'm so, so sorry. Why can't I cry? Princess, stop it! If you keep pinching your cheeks, you'll ruin your pretty face! Now, tell her to stop! Hmph. <laughs> he really died, huh? Stupid Almas. Now, you're still saying that? After all that ranting, he goes and dies on his own. And he gets to talk about promises? Friends? Trust? What a fool! You didn't even keep your promise! Did you forget? I said you were my servant forever! You... betrayer! How dare you say that about the fake hero who risked his life for you! Yes! How dare you lash out at the dead! Hold on, girls! You're right, Mao. This hero was a big dumbass. He left behind a precious friend. Almas! You really are a big fool! <laughs> Damn you! You left behind an unwanted feeling! I don't need an emotion like this! If this was going to happen, it would have been better that I didn't even know! How will you take responsibility for this? You're my servant, aren't you? I didn't give you permission to die! This is an order, Almas! Return to life! Immediately! Huh? I think I died. Is this... heaven? Or hell? Mal? Well, since you're no angel, I guess I didn't make it to heaven. This isn't heaven, but it's not hell either. Okay. So why are you here? Almas, thanks to you, I found the courage to trust others and believe in myself. Huh? No way! Why would Mal say something like that? Wait, so is this a dream? Let me return to you the courage you had lent to me. Give me your hand. Huh? This is... my hero title? Why is it here? Thank you, hero Almas. My friend. Mao! be me. Are you really Almas? I could check my underwear if you'd like. Oh, I'm so glad! Almas, you revived! <laughs> oh, so you can cry, Princess? Princess. <laughs> I was so sad, but couldn't cry, and now I'm happy and crying. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> it won't stop. 
Are you okay? I am. Because you came back. <laughs> Please don't cry, Princess. You're supposed to smile when you're happy. Huh? Almas, you look a little different. Let me look at your face more carefully. Hmm. Your eyes, your mouth. Princess, isn't this a little too close? Huh. Could it be? You turned back into a human? Not only that, he's a true hero. Oh, Almaz, you got your title of hero back? Well, it seems that way. Which means it happened? Hmm, it happened. Huh? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> Sir Mao, it seems that you finally opened your heart. <laughs> so you beat me to it. Didn't think I'd let an honor student get there first. But I'll overlook it today. Now, let us celebrate with a dark stew party. No spice can be better than an open heart. Eat up! Boom! Don't get me wrong. I didn't open up my heart. <laughs> it's not funny. Because of you, nobody understands me. Hero, I knew you could do it. Now no one can call you a fake hero. I'm proud to be your friend. But seriously, give me an autograph later. Indeed. Now you're officially a hero. Congratulations. Splendid work, hero Almaz. Yes, my lady. Thank you, princess. Listen to me! I'll say it one more time. I didn't open up my heart! <laughs> now that I've spat out the title without opening my heart, a battle with the spiteful superhero awaits! With friendship power, Mal, reborn as warrior of love and courage, challenges the superhero to a final confrontation! You got it all wrong. What's with that love and friendship stuff? He's stubborn and dishonest, but he's totally devoted to his friends. Our leader, Mal, steps forth. Stop lying, mad scientist, maybe. Friend, no way! <laughs> Did we mention he's shy? That's complete blasphemy! Next time on Disgaea 3, final episode, Super Battle. Might as well go all in. Despite your lies, I will defeat the superhero! Okay, that will be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Next time on Disguise 3, Absence of Detention, we will be going up against the superhero. At least if you're watching this in the chronological order of plot progression. <laughs> if you're watching this in the order it was uploaded, next time we will be going over some endings. See y'all then.